Good morning, triathlon and core triathletes. Here we are, episode 4 of Sub 5. We don't have the special guest anymore, unfortunately, but we have uh, still our camel. So we go like the camel. So we keep him here. And today, before we uh, get into the topic, let's start the uh, watch. Very good. Stay at Sub 5 again. We have a special topic. Topic is about triathlon couples. So those couples who train together, live together, and try not to kill each other. I, I, I know several, and I coach one couple, namely Andrea and Katya. And Katya was uh, nice enough and kind enough to send me some questions. I'll show you some of the questions. Not all. These are the answers. I don't think I'm gonna have time to answer all the questions, but I'll try to do my best, and especially I'll try to focus on the best question that Katya sent me about this topic. Not controversial, but this topic. First question from Katya is, how do you plan a program for a couple, being the two athletes very different in terms of uh, even le levels and personalities? So if the couple has a similar racing plan, racing goal, they, they are planning to, to do the same races and they kind of have a similar training structure and weekly structure, well, that's easier because not only for me it's easier to plan a training plan this way, but it's also easier for you or for the couple to spend some time together and not to... Um, to to, to lose the time you put into into training um, and, and and actually like be apart so it's easier for for both of us but uh, as you've experienced in the last two years uh, even though you may have a similar or sometimes same training sessions the training sessions are performed in a different way because you may have different thresholds different paces so a same structure, a same session may be different because you have different physiological parameters. So you perform that session differently. And that's the main reason why a similar training structure for a couple is different for the individuals. Um, of course, if there are things coming up during the year and during the season, we may tend to uh, adapt the training schedule to the, to the person and not keeping it uh, close or together or similar or equal to the other one we change if there are plans so we try to keep ad to, to adapt to the individual uh, life and commitment although we have the same structure to help you both spend time together second question is it um, is it important that the two people have same race goals not necessarily if it helps you to have same goals, same races planned in order to like spend that time together and go to the race together and have good time, fine. That will also help me to build up the, the training uh, session towards a goal, but it's not necessary. I wrote in a post uh, some time ago that it's important to have specific goals, internal goals that you believe in and it doesn't need to be uh, necessarily the goal of another person. So always be free to um, to pick up and decide the races you want pretty freely. Third question. Um, what are the elements that can make um, the triathlon couple and the triathlon uh, uh, training and sessions and training and racing together um, in order not to become in a toxic, in order not to end up in a toxic environment? That's really important because Spending, spending a lot of time uh, living together in some cases and training together, racing together can become too much. So my suggestion is first, love what you do. Never forget, never always remember that um, this is not uh, your job. So even if it's your job, you should, you should enjoy it. But enjoy what you do, love what you do. 
and try not to focus too much on this uh, life of triathlon. Try not to talk too much about triathlon. Do something totally different together. Go to the movies, go to the theaters. Try not to focus too much on triathlon as a, a bubble. Otherwise, yeah. I kind of believe the, the environment uh, uh, of a couple spending so much time together training and focusing on training could be become pretty much uh, toxic. There are a few questions, but my bad because I was like losing time and not not very fluent in talking, and we end up uh, we finished our time. So I will answer the other question probably in a blog post. That's a very interesting topic. Thank you, Katia, and enjoy your training. Never forget that. <laughs>